uh, let's learn today how to transfer your SQL logins from the legacy to target. So this is the big challenge when you are doing them, you know, the migration from the legacy to the new target machine. So how, how, how you can do the transfer the all the entire login from the legacy to target. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about how we can do it easily without any interruption. Okay, so uh, before starting the channel, I would request to everyone, I have created one playlist. Uh, if you click on a playlist on my channel and go to playlist SQL Server DBA, there are on more than 77 videos, which is all related to, you know, the SQL's live examples with the theory and uh, the labs. Okay, so let's connect for the today agenda. So basically, uh, the scenario is when you, you are doing the migration, uh, you need to transfer all the database from the legacy to target. In that case, the login is also a major portion which you can carry from the legacy to target without any, you know, uh, misplace. Okay. So uh, Microsoft introduced, uh, you know, the SQL Server Rev logins, which is very helpful to you know uh, do the migration of all the SQL logins from the legacy to target. So I'm going to uh, give you the live uh, demo. Let's assume uh, you know uh, I have instance tech 01 which is legacy and you need to transfer the all the logins uh, to somewhere on a new machine whatever the logins present on that legacy server legacy SQL instance. Okay so uh, the rev login script which is uh, easily you can get it uh, from the Google's, okay, Microsoft website and all. Take the script from there and execute it. So I have taken the script and I am executing now. So if you execute it here, you need to call the store procedure, execute SP help rev login. If you execute the store procedure, you can get it the, you know, all the login details here, which you can save it in a notepad and you can execute over the target machine. So whatever the login present on a legacy, it's taking the, you know, script in a one shot. You no need to go and do the manual script for uh, each and individual logins. It will take the script for with the password and that's also with password to each uh, logins with what are the uh, logins present on a legacy and you can save it in a notepad, transfer to the target and execute it. So your problem will solve uh, once you execute the login automatically this uh, create login script will be created on the target machine. So now the question is uh, whether this uh, this can carry the server roles also. So for that I am giving you the scenario. So I have one script. The script which I executed here that is uh, the you know uh, the rev login script which I have taken from the Google. And this is script, what is the difference with this script? I'm executing right now. If you execute my script, what it will do? It will give the logins details, okay? And as well as the server roles here. So what are the server roles present? So what's happening actually, if you, you know, uh, do the uh, rev login transfer from legacy to target, so what it will do, it will create the logins on a target machine, but you need to grant it the server role manually, okay? So for that, you can use this script for server roles. So it will give you the, the grant uh, execute uh, uh, script to execute that particular uh, no, uh, logins, okay? So you can execute this roles on a target machine and it will, you know, uh, grant the same roles uh, let's ex example uh, mile enable a k and k is a login and which have the sysadmin privilege on a legacy okay so you can execute this one on a target as well okay so this is something uh, extra uh, apart from the rev login script you need to grant it the server role as well don't miss actually server role because it will create problem then so once the you transfer either you transfer the login with the rev login script execute the store procedure call the store procedure it will give you the create login script with password save it in a uh, notepad and transfer to the target machine and do the execute it will create the logins and do, then do the manual you know uh, grant the server roles 
but here you can get it the script as well in this script and you can take this roles and you can execute directly on a target machine without any problem so it will solve your uh, you know it will it will make uh, it will uh, make your task very easy okay so uh, that's it guys it's very easy uh, no need to worry about uh, how to transfer the login from the legacy to target when you are doing the migration this because login transfer is also a major task uh, when you are moving the database from the legacy to target okay so use this approach and hope you got it i will meet you soon with the another uh, session till then bye bye thank you and whoever liked my channel uh, please do like subscribe and please share this video to others as well okay if you like the videos thank you guys